Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and today I'm going, I've am going. i built myself what's called a manometer. A manometer is a device to measure gas pressure. So I, I didn't invent this myself, I copied it off of a guy online, a YouTube video, a um, guy named Guy Preci, I think is how you pronounce his name. Anyway, he uh, showed how to build a manometer, um, the link to that in the description below. So I kind of copied his idea of this YouTube manometer, a very simple device. Um, I took a 2x4 there, measured 7 inches from the bottom, and then put um, markings every half inch. And then I just used some uh, zip ties to put the, the tubing on. And I used a, I think it's 5 16 tubing. Um, I'll link to the blog post with the with uh, the items I used. Um, so anyway this is going to test the the LP gas pressure in in my rig. I'll be able to test the pressure, current pressure, I'll be able to check how the regulator is working and also be able to check for leaks which is my main reason to use it. Um, sometimes I do some repairs on the rig where I'm undoing a gas line and redoing it and I always use the the bubble leak detector just to to check it out but with this manometer you can test the whole rig at once for leaks so that'll come in handy. So anyway, let's uh, give you a demo with this stove here. Give you a demo of how it works. Okay, so I popped the top off. Sorry about the mess in there, but I do a lot of cooking and love to cook. And I'm going to take this burner off so that I can access the port here with the tubing. And there's just one screw holding it there. So let's let me pull that screw and I can get that burner off. Um, I I'm, I'm, should say I'm not recommending you mess around with your LP gas system at all. Um, anytime you touch the LP gas, it should be done by a service, cer certified uh, uh, RV tech or gas guy. So um, don't copy what I'm doing. Look up the risks for yourself and decide if, if you're willing to do it or not. Like I say, I'm not an RV technician, just a, a ordinary RV owner like yourselves. As you can see, the 5 16 inner diameter of this vinyl tubing is just perfect to get a good, a good seal on that uh, output there. So let's turn her on and we'll see uh, what the manometer does. There we go. So you can see the liquid uh, bounced up there. Put a little food coloring in the liquid so it makes it easier to see. And right up around 10, 10 uh, water column units. So that's what this is going to measure, the water column units of the, of the gas. Um, in PSI, it's around half, half PSI, but that's such a low, a low figure. They usually, uh, call, they usually um, calibrate them in water column units, and that's what the manometer measures. And off. So you can uh, use this to uh, check out the operation of your regulator, see if it's working properly. Um, you can also use it to, to check for leaks in the system. Um, I was going to use the stove to check for leaks, but when I was looking in here, I spied this device over here. And looking it up online, this is actually a regulator. Um, so you have your regulator at your, your gas cylinders at the front of the RV there has, a, has the regulator that re regulates the whole system. Then some appliances have their own regulator. So because this is a, a regulator, if I try to test things here for a leak, I'm pretty sure this is going to get in the way of that test. So another idea I had is to use my barbecue because um, I have a low pressure hookup for my my barbecue outside and it hooks right in near where the the big uh, LP gas cylinders are so I think it would be a better test for for checking for leaks and things so let's take this outside and we'll check it on my using my uh, grill out there my outside grill is teed off the main propane line down there I have it a quick connect system so I can use it uh, use it easily to grill some uh, yummy dinners up. So what I've done is I've taken the the element part off, the burner, and attached my uh, tubing right to the output here for my manometer. 
There we go. Let's give her a try. So now I'll just turn on the, the main valve here. There we go. So that's a good way to, to check the main uh, gas output there for any leaks. So let's try uh, turning off the, the main propane and see if that's going to hold. Turn that. So now we have no supply. We'll just see if we get any drop indicating a leak here. In fact, we do have a leak. It's been slowly dropping all the way down here. So, I have a leak in the system somewhere. Okay, after a little bit of troubleshooting, I've actually isolated my leak to the barbecue itself. So, say I turn off the gas right at the barbecue, and I look at the manometer, you can see it dropping. So that means somewhere in the barbecue lines I'm losing pressure. Interesting. Something I didn't even know about. There, that's why it's handy to use a manometer right there. So let's uh, try turning the gas back on. And of course we pop out. So that means somewhere in there we got a gas leak. So I'm going to pull the covers. See if I can uh, find it here. Found it! So I'm just using some uh, leak detector. And you can see in here, there we go, we're bubbling over here on this connection. I think so what's happened is I've modified my barbecue when I put this in here. And you can see there's some play in here. I remember when the guy modified it, he put some uh, zip clips in there to hold it in place. and. They since broke off, so it's probably been uh, giving that free play. But right there, that proves the manometer can spot a leak for you. Okie doke, so I tightened that connection up and my leak appears to be gone. I have the main propane system turned off and my water is staying in place. Um, what I'm going to do now is go in and uh, turn on a stove. Uh, element and just drop that down to around eight, eight uh, water units. I've seen a test online, you're supposed to drop it down to eight and then uh, wait three minutes. If it doesn't drop at all in three minutes then your uh, your lines are deemed to be uh, leak free. There we go. So we'll just let that sit here for uh, three minutes and see if we get any uh, drop at all. If you get very small amount of drop, then you might have a minor leak somewhere. Um, if you start to see that thing drop quite quickly, then you've, you've got a major leak. So to figure out where the leak is, you'd, you'd probably have to go around with a uh, propane sniffer or go bubble test a bunch of the connections. It's looking good, looking good. I'll wait another few minutes. I got her back hooked up on the stove again. I just want to do a test out of interest to see if the the pressure would reverse through through this regulator, and if this could uh, be a method to check for a leak also. So what I'm going to do is I'll aim that at that, and I've turned the main tank off, and I'm going to go outside and open the the valve on the barbecue, simulating a a pretty bad leak in the system and we'll see if the pressure drops then at least I'll know this is a kind of a quick way to to check uh, check the system for leaks from the using the stove okay barbecues on low Yeah, it's starting to drop. There we go. Yeah. So, could check a leak in a system through the stove there. Good to know. 
I saw online uh, one guy what they would do is they would uh, open this connection here and then with wrenches uh, insert uh, a manometer in, in, in line with that. But uh, yeah, that's good to know. I hope you found that interesting. Um, I'm not advocating it as a, a replacement for a proper uh, certified check of your propane system by someone who really knows what they're doing with the proper equipment, but I think it is a cheap, dirty way of uh, checking, uh, checking for leaks. Um, I'm liking it. I'm going to use it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I came across an, a blog post by a, a guy called RV Doctor that called What the Pros Do as far as LP gas. So it's quite an interesting read and I think it's pretty informative for, for RVs to, to read about, know what's going on with their, their LP gas system. Anyway, until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks again for watching, folks. Cheers. What are you, a cat or something? <laughs>